I love watching Agassi. And I remember uh, Agassi. 60 career titles, eight Grand Slams, and an Olympic gold. Andre rightfully so taking his place among the greats in tennis. Andre Agassi is an eight-time Grand Slam champion and an Olympic gold medalist. He's one of the greatest tennis players of all time. However, beyond the awards and fame, life was not that kind to him. So let's talk about the action-packed journey of Andre. His complex relationship with his father, his experience with crystal meth, the toll of his professional achievements, and his post-retirement philanthropic plans. Uh, amphetamines, right? Uh, Crystal meth, it's actually dangerous. Crystal meth, but I'm not talking about Breaking Bad. I'm talking about Andre Agassi. Yes, you heard right. Andre candidly mentioned in his autobiography that he struggled with drug addiction, particularly with crystal methamphetamine. Andre's addiction was a significant aspect of his life. However, his decision to open up and discuss his meth addiction in his autobiography was an important step towards self-accountability. By sharing his story, Andre hoped to provide real-life struggles and inspiration. Andre revealed that he was introduced to crystal meth by his assistant, who he referred to as Slim. According to him, Slim dumped a small amount of crystal meth powder on a coffee table, and out of curiosity, Andre decided to snort some of it. After doing meth, Andre described a roller coaster of emotions. He initially regretted it, but then he was overwhelmed by a sense of euphoria. The feeling of being high is due to the release of dopamine a neurotransmitter that is associated with pleasure or reward. Andre depicted his experience with crystal meth and highlighted the addictive nature of drugs. Although he felt shame and sadness simultaneously, he found himself drawn back to it due to its high-intensity euphoria and energetic experience. Andre's drug abuse was also aligned with his underperforming tennis period. By late 1997, he had dropped to number 141 in the ranking. He struggled struggled to regain his form, but he ultimately managed to return to his career and achieved further success. His battles and struggles with addiction undoubtedly had an impact on his performance and his personal life. My dad rips the racket out of my hand pushes me aside like I'm, you know. He doesn't care where or when or how I make Stephanie my wife. That's how Andre described his father's reaction before his marriage to Steffi Graf. Andre not only dealt with drug abuse, but also faced a complex relationship with his father, Mike Agassi. Andre was groomed by his father to become a tennis champion from a very young age. Mike, a former Olympic boxer, recognized Andre's talent and dedicated his life to coaching and guiding his son in tennis. Mike was very ambitious for his son's tennis career. He often pushed him to his limits in training. Mike instilled hard work and determination to succeed. He also shaped him into a formidable player. As Andre's career progressed in professional tennis, he gained a sense of appreciation for his father's influence and sacrifices. Despite his rigid nature, he recognized the impact of his father on shaping his success and character. Meanwhile, the relationship between Andre and Mike was not all about coaching and training. Like every father-son relationship, they also faced occasional friction and sometimes he struggled under the influence of his father's expectations, which led to conflicts and tension. Andre mentioned that his father was not interested in being a part of his marriage with Graf. He didn't disapprove of her either. The marriage took place in the presence of both couples' mothers. Andre mentioned, My father insists he's not the least bit slighted by not getting an invite. I guess he wrote, in his book, he doesn't want an invite. The last thing he wants to do is attend a wedding. He doesn't like weddings. He walked out in the middle of my first. He doesn't care where or when or how I make Stephanie my wife, he says, so long as I do it. She's the greatest woman's tennis player of all time, he says. What's not to like? But in later years, Andre and Mike reconciled the differences they had which fostered a deeper bond based on mutual respect and gratitude. Andre cherished the lessons and values instilled by his father. He also also recognized the profound role of his father in shaping his life. Through the highs and lows of this tennis journey, his father remained a great source of support and encouragement for him. In the late 1980s, the world of tennis got a much-needed boost to bring back the excitement it once had when Andre Agassi arrived. He brought a whole new level of energy to the game with his extraordinary style and confident gameplay. Unlike other players of his era, he not only just played tennis, but also set a great benchmark for 
other athletes. With his fleshy clothes and bold personality, he was able to capture everyone's attention. Nike noticed Andre back then and gave him a big endorsement deal. They also created a special line of clothing and shoes just for him. His outfits were bold and extraordinary, just like his playing style. One of Andre's most famous looks was acid-washed denim shorts paired with neon-colored tights underneath. And I won't let you forget his blonde mullet hairstyle with a wide headband. It was all the rage. Agassi is the new Ford Australian Open champion. Beauty with brain, or I should say beauty with athletic reflexes. Andre was not all about his looks. He had a great skill set. He usually hit the ball harder and faster than every one of his time. His powerful shot selection and lightning fast reflexes made him one of the biggest tennis stars of the 90s. Andre's professional achievements include eight Grand Slam titles, including victories at each of the four slams. Andre also won a Olympic gold medals in men's singles at the 1996 Atlanta Olympics. He was also ATP Player of the Year in 1999. Andre also played multiple championships for the US. He was inducted into the International Tennis Hall of Fame in 2011. Andre's longevity, consistency, and game solidified his status as one of the greatest tennis players of all time. Talk to us about this relationship. We listen to each other, we respect each other's opinions. Andre's personal life made headlines too. He married fellow tennis legend Steffi Graf, and together they became one of the sport's most famous couples. Even after retiring from tennis, Andre made himself busy with philanthropy work, especially in education. He opened a tuition-free school and a boys and girls club to help needy kids. In short, Andre was not just a tennis player, but a philanthropist also, who left a lasting impact both on and off the court. Andre Agassi's journey includes triumph, resilience, and redemption. From his rise to tennis stardom to his challenges with personal life through his candid revelations about his struggles with drug addiction, his complex relationship with his father, and his unparalleled achievements on the tennis court, Andre has left an indelible mark on the world of tennis and beyond, which no other player has ever done. YouTube's algorithm thinks you like this video next. Let's see if they're right.